Good morning. It is April 20th, 2023. This is my first video of the 2023 year. And as you can see, I'm still in St. John's and I'm heading out to the cabin today. Plan today is to kind of get the cabin ready for the summer. Hopefully I'm going to get to spend more time out there this year. I uh, didn't spend a lot of time out there last year for a variety of reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and go out and uh, get it ready. I got some deadfall I need to clean up. I need to tidy up the man cave, which is sort of a little a cabin near the cabin. And uh, we'll check that out and maybe light the fire and fry up some food and just enjoy the day. Uh, it is raining like crazy here today. It's not cold, but it is raining really hard. And uh, I think it's supposed to rain out to the cabin as well. If it's reasonably uh, good weather, we'll get some chores done out around. If not, we'll uh, hunker down and just spend the day chilling. here. It's coming down over the hill to the cabin now. Most of the snow seems to be gone over here, which is good. The rain isn't too, too bad. We'll see how that weather holds up so that we can get some chores done down here. A lot of the snow is gone, which is good. Okay, well, first step is to have a look around and see what needs to be done. I know I need to chop up some deadfalls. I've also got some flower beds here that are basically completely overgrown. They went not good last year, <laughs> so I got some work there. Oh boy, this is kind of a mess. All right, well, get the chainsaw and get going. I think I hit a rock or something on the uh, chainsaw, so I've got to sharpen the blade here. And, uh, last year I bought this electric blade sharpener. And once you figure it out, it actually works extremely well. So I'll just show this to you here. Put your blade in there, use the guide, and uh, you're off to the races. All right, got the chain sharpened, I think. I'll have to test it to see if I didn't screw it up. And uh, now it's a matter of taking this one off.
All right, well, got a fair bit of wood out of those uh, deadfalls, which is good. Now uh, let's move on to the clearing out the planter boxes because they're in dire need of a cleanup. It was a morning in June when I heard that tune falling up to the beat of your heart like a white rain sail from a startled trail our eyes met and then landed so well Well, I got one bed almost cleaned out. Got a couple more to go. It's kind of windy and not very pleasant out here today, so I might call it quits for, for now and try again on a better day. Going for a cup of tea. All right, well, the wind has prevented me from doing much outside, so I decided to try something that I've been seeing on the internet quite a bit, and uh, I wanted to give this a go. I saw Chuck Porter on his um, YouTube channel, which, by the way, you should check out because he is by all means an expert, and I am all, by all means not an expert, but I like trying different things, so... Uh, I think they call these Swedish candles or torch stoves. Uh, basically, the idea is that you create um, a hole in the top of a junk. I used a dry piece of fur. Um, and then you drill a hole, probably an inch uh, on the side. And it you ultimately start a fire and it creates enough uh, internal combustion within the log itself to boil the kettle. So. The test is to see if I can actually do this. I've seen quite a few people try it and not quite have much success, but because it's so windy outside, I figured I'd give this a go today. In these orderly ways, in this disorderly life, I let go of my hand in the jar. For the great moon in the middle of June, falling up to the pole of the tide. Oh, I've seen it before, and I've never been told Can touch this feeling inside You came reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring There's no need for doubt in his mind You came reassuring, Mother Nature's procuring There's no need for doubt in his mind There's smoke, there's fire. I think it's time to move it outside. There we go. There's the flame. Works like a charm. There's lots of flame coming up through there, but maybe too much wind. Now I got a new problem. It looks like it's burning through the backside. Almost, almost boiled. Well, I think we're at just in the nick of time. I think we might have boiling water. There we go. Success. Well, my log is pretty much burned completely through. Time for a cup of a cup of tea. My overall assessment. It works. Uh, if I were to do this again, I'm gonna put this in the fire pit so it doesn't. If I was to do this again, I think what I would do is uh, use a bigger log, 
something that uh, could hold the burn for a longer period of time. This worked, but just barely. It was just about to kind of falter over by the time the kettle boiled. Uh, but it's definitely a good idea for uh, if you're stuck. And uh, I, honestly, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. So experiment succeeded. Time to make up a bit of supper. Some fresh moose and onion. Moose that my buddy Peter gave me. Can't wait. My favorite way of doing moose is uh, fried up in little chunks. Lots of onion. A little bit of Montreal steak spice. And a little bit of Worcester sauce. Oh, that's my moose. Nice and brown, just how I like it. <clears throat> All right, now that I got the dishes done, uh, lickety split, uh, another chore I gotta do is sharpen these axes. As a uh, Newfoundlander, I'm embarrassed to say that I had never properly sharpened these axes, as you can probably see. So, I think my good buddy Keith and his lovely wife Cheryl recognized that. So, they, one of the Christmas gifts they gave me this year, which I, I love, is this. Uh, device called a Sharpal and this is designed to sharpen everything I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on this side scissors and axe on this side knives so I'm gonna see if this actually works I probably given how bad these are I probably should be uh, grinding them a bit at least cleaning them up a bit first. But I'm gonna give it a go just uh, just with the sharpener and see if I can see if I can make a difference. This is how poorly how bad this axe is. I could hit it with a teaspoon and it would do uh, do less. Brutal. All right, let's give this thing a go here. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Sounds like it's doing something. much better. I'm going to give it a few more though. See if I can get that burr out. But I think this thing is going to work for me. Finish this one up. Have a go at the little one. And that'll be it for the night. All right, well that's about it for this uh, this video. Got a few little chores done around the house, uh, around the cabin, sorry. Uh, tried out that Swedish flame Swedish candle, I uh, got that to work, so that was an accomplishment. So I'll do a few more little things around here now and then uh, head to bed and back into town tomorrow. Thanks, and there should be lots of videos coming out in the next month or two, both here at the cabin and also uh, in relation to the Rusty Nuts motorcycle blog. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, keep in touch. Remember, it's always better at the cabin.